a code, and uh, so since my voice is not a global voice, but everything it doesn't matter. So yeah, I like John very much. into three parts and we'll focus on the first part and the third and after my presentation then you can ask me the questions. Um, so about China's economy, I would like to give you a brief introduction about what happened during the last 35 years in China. Um, I will give you some data to show how China's rapid economic development and to make an analysis and the reasons why China has achieved so much about China's rapid economy first rate. Um, I'd like to show some indicators. Uh, first is GDP from 1978 to 2012. You can see the trend of GDP growth. Um, China's annual GDP growth rate with an average of 9.8%. Um, at the same time, that the world's GDP is only 2.8 percent. And the second, China's real GDP per capita from 1978 to 2012. And you can see deducting price factor that 16.2 times higher than that in 1978. And we can see that China's financial revenues in the last 35 years it has increased much more and in 1978 only 113.2 billion RMB and now then it has it has gotten a very large amount of financial revenues and for the financial revenues that China has enough power to guarantee the strength to promote economic growth and so from the three charts that we can see uh, China has achieved a lot in its economic development and from this chart I for about China's foreign exchange reserves in the last 35 years and you can see that in 1978, um, it's only less than two million U.S. dollars. But in 2012, you can see it has arrived 33,160 um, million U.S. dollars. So you can see a lot of change during the last 35 years in China. Um, here, China's rapid uh, economic growth 